not going to be teaching you guys how to juggle pumpkins today. So when I saw these pumpkins at Michael's, I knew I needed to have them. But I want to dress them up just a little bit. I'm sure you guys have seen the mud cloth trend that's going around. It's all over throw pillows, blankets, bedding. It's such a cute trend. So I decided that I'm going to turn these pumpkins into mud cloth pumpkins. For this project, I also grabbed a black and a white oil-based Sharpie paint pen. Okay, so now I'm just going to show you guys just how simple this really is. It's really just a bunch of patterns. You can do these, X's, squares, lines, dots. It's pretty simple. Just start putting them onto your pumpkin. Don't stress when you're putting your shapes onto your pumpkin. It's not going to be perfectly straight, but that's the look that we're going for. So for my first pattern, I'm just going to start out with lines. Three horizontal and three vertical lines is kind of my first pattern that I decided to go with. And like I said, it's not going to look straight. Don't worry, it will all come together in the end. So for my next pattern, I'm just kind of going up like I'm gonna do a square, like I'm making boxes. I find sometimes it's easier to pick your pumpkin up instead of doing it flat and kind of rest it against yourself and just turn it as you're going. Okay, so there we go. So now I feel like somewhere in here I'm gonna need some dots, so I'm gonna start figuring out how to do a dot design. I'm gonna go ahead and do kind of like a cross with some dots, and then I'm gonna do a V, and then I'll go back to my cross design. So three dots down and one on either side. So then a V, three dots down, one on either side, and then I'm going back to my V. It's really so simple, you can just kind of make up whatever pattern you want. Okay, so here's where we're at so far. Now I just need to keep going. Pro tip, if you guys don't want to grab the pumpkins from Michaels that are already pre-painted black and white, you could grab a pumpkin from the Dollar Tree, you could grab a pumpkin from the pumpkin patch, and just paint it yourself. I'm on my last row! And here they are styled on my table. I think these turned out so pretty. I'm really excited about these as well because they're so neutral, I feel like I can carry these into Thanksgiving. So I feel like I might be adding these to my Thanksgiving tablescape. I love them. 